uh, one chilly night last month, uh, a couple of folks who work on this show uh, shivered their way into the Loring Bar for a, ooh, just a wee nip and also a little bit of music. Now, the band that was playing that night was the Hotheads. Uh, they transformed the Loring into a New Orleans-style uh, jazz club, uh, complete with horns, sweats, and uh, bad acoustics, I'm told. Well, tonight, the Hotheads are here in Studio B with all the same compliments, except the acoustics are going to be great because of our crew. And we have Jay Moat here to talk a little bit about, uh, you've got a gig coming up at the Dakota. We do, Friday at the Dakota. When you describe your music, people hear swing music and they instantly think some of the standards. They do. Uh, all of me, that kind of stuff. Uh, we, we don't venture into that. We actually do quite a bit more obscure material. Um, stuff that stretches all the way back to the 19-teens, 1920s? jazz and even pre-jazz, really. Um, more blues-oriented type jazz. Okay, you also have a CD which is coming out. We uh, do. Called Cold Feet, I think. Is that Correct. right? All right. Uh, and that's got original tunes. Correct. 13. In about that same vein. Th th that would surprise a lot of people who would think that swing is something in the past. Correct. Yes. Um, we're uh, actually releasing that in a couple dates. Come up right. here in uh, March. we got March 31st at Lee's Liquor Lounge and April Fool's Day at the Turf Club here in St. Paul. Okay, but this Friday at the Dakota, what are you going to play for us now? We're going to play a song off the uh, CD. It's an original song called Hand Turns to Blue. All right, Hotheads, take it away. Wonderful Friday at the Dakota. Check them out. That's it for us. Take us on out of here.
Newsnight Minnesota is made possible in part with support from the Blandon Foundation, creating a stronger Minnesota by bridging rural and urban communities, and by the McKnight Foundation, dedicated to improving the quality of life for Minnesota families. Business and technology reporting on Newsnight Minnesota is supported in part by the law firm of Gray Plant Moody, providing legal and business counsel for more than 125 years.